वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्या लंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यूएटेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to digital electronics lab today we are going to perform experiment number 3b that is ग्रे कोड टू बाइनरी कोड कन्वर्टर ओके सो नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ओप्टेन बाइनरी कोड फ्रॉम ग्रे कोड मैथमेटिकली लेट इज कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ग्रे कोड जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो फर्स्ट बिट वी राइट इट एज इट इज दिस इज माई बी थ्री बी टू बी वन एंड बी जीरो Now this digit and this digit is XOR. Now zero zero XOR, I will get zero. Now this digit and this digit is XOR again. And now we get my B one that is one. Now this digit and this digit is XOR, and we get one. So this is my corresponding binary code. Okay, so now let us understand how to implement the circuit for this gray code to binary code converter. So first we connect. G3 input directly as it is to the B3 output, and we connect G2 to pin number one and G3 to pin number two. We take output of this that XOR gate and give that as one input to the next XOR gate that is pin number four, and we give G1 bit to pin number five. You can relate this to this example which we I have written again over here. The output of first XOR, the output of first XOR gate is the XOR with next bit. output of this xor bit is xor with next bit likewise output of this xor is given as input to next xor gate and g0 is given as input over here and output is taken from pin number 8 in this way we get b0 b2 1 b2 and b3 okay so now we are done with the connection as we have discussed earlier so now let's just verify the truth table that we have got let's just power it on so now you can see as all the four inputs are zero we are getting all the four output as zero Now just let's just make it G zero as one. So we are getting B zero as one, and for G one one, we are getting zero zero one zero. In a similar manner, you can verify the entire truth table. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.